on Saturday in August, we decided to take a day trip and spend the day exploring Avila Beach and also visit the Point St. Louis Lighthouse. The drive from Santa Barbara to Avila Beach takes one and a half hours and we arrived at lunchtime. We got lunch at Avila Market Restaurant in Mercantile. Because they have limited seating and because we're in beautiful Avila Beach with the ocean right outside, we decided to eat our lunch on the beach. It was a hot day so the beach was very lively. We ate lunch in a rush because we had to make it to the Point St. Louis Lighthouse parking lot by a certain time to make our tour since we had to buy time specific tickets in advance. Our tour tickets were for 1pm and it was recommended to get to the parking lot 15 minutes before the tour time since the van departs promptly. There are two ways to get to the lighthouse, by vehicle or by hiking. But because the lighthouse is on private property, both the road and the trail is closed to the public so the only way to visit is by joining a van tour or a scheduled hike. We did the van tour, which takes you from the parking lot where you board their van up to the lighthouse where you'll be led on a docent guided tour. Our docent was wonderful and knowledgeable about the history of the lighthouse in the area and provided lots of interesting facts and details. Gym window, and I'm sorry to say that the blind has failed. Now this room would have been a bigger part where you have a little leisure. that you didn't want to go outside at night because they call that rattlesnake canyon for a reason what was coming in love spend all your time looking at all these pictures Despite the hot and sunny weather in Avila Beach, it was windy and quite chilly up at the lighthouse. The fog created quite the atmosphere and I really felt like I'd gone back in time to the early 20th century. It is 2 o'clock and we finished our tour. We took some family pictures at the steps and the bus doesn't come until 2.30 so we have basically 25 minutes to take pictures, wander around. It was a very good tour. I loved staying in front of the house. So many people. This is Avila Beach, like the main beach. So many people. And then right there on the left side are like all like the oceanfront shops. It's also where we had lunch. They have a lot of really cute stores there. A bunch of boutiques, shopping, restaurants, coffee. After the lighthouse tour, we visited Avila Valley Barn. We had a fun time watching the children feeding and petting the many barn animals. An ostrich over there, some mamas and alpacas. I don't know which one. And then there are pigs, and then there are cows over there. And there's even pony rides back there. Avila Valley Barn sells food at their chicken shack and smokehouse. They also have a bakery with an amazing selection of baked goods, and we bought an apple turnover from there. It was really nice to just sit in the shade and relax and eat some ice cream because it is quite hot and even though we went in August and it's still undeniably summer, I could only imagine how beautiful this place would be in the autumn and I already can't wait to visit during the autumn season how atmospheric that would be because fall is my favorite season. It's 3.45 and we have arrived here. This is Shell Beach Bluff Trail. It's accessed through like a pretty residential area and at the very end is this parking lot specifically for the trail. It's one mile out and one mile back so it's two mile round trip. It does get really steep but they say it's worth the view at the very end. We have exited the paved part of the path. The goal is to go up the dirt road and go all the way around that path down to the beach or go that way just like a little thingy. And look at the view. Here is Pismo Beach. All these really nice mansions. Oh, so pretty. And Avila Beach is over there. You can see the breakwater right here. It is 4.48 and we finally finished our mini hike. We walked about three miles, I would say. It is five o'clock and we're back here at Avila Beach. This is so cute.
going on this here after dinner. It is 6.30 and socks are really chilly. 